directionally challenged hiker here again this Friday November 5th 2021 this is actually day two of our six day five night hike um, yesterday was a beast and I didn't take out the video camera yeah no GoPro footage I got into camp and I felt pretty bad so this is second video of today this is going to be our side of the creek you know for the non river trippers but we have a similar view but we are we are just below the rapids instead of being above the rapids and as you can see I'm, I'm standing on top of a little sand dune here we came down um, just basically there's the creek down there and we came down from the creek area our camp is down there really close to the river I'll take I'll do like a little campsite tour in a little bit but for now this is this is like some sites up above just just get to know the this is the granite rapid area we are here tonight so we should be by ourselves we'll probably have some people coming down from monument during the day to um you know enjoy it because it is just it's beautiful down here um there's a little beach area here's a little spot where the person was last night and actually those rocks make a nice little area to probably set your stuff and sit and then if you climb up here uh, someone has taken the time to you know collect some driftwood and you know make a nice little spot it's kind of fun to do that but yeah granite rapids I am feeling much better today um, I do have I've been taking my aspirin but yeah I'll take you up here um, I went up here this morning kind of get a nice view I want to explore the dunes a little bit I've been down here I've never camped down here like I probably said earlier so you know we've came down come down and we've enjoyed the immediate beach area by Granite Rapids I had never taken the time to go up the river the short way to check out the um, you know where the river trips would stay sorry I just walked you into a bush this is kind of a oh uh, it is easier going down this amazingly but the sand gives a lot but, yeah so I'm just wow yeah the dune is quite a climb you can see I'll turn around in a minute which is a little different view up here just trying to show you some of what you know the granite rapid area you know has to offer um, if you're thinking of checking out this area if you're never gonna come down here well um, actually you could probably camp there I always prefer being closer to the water but that is me um, that's kind of the view up here the little pan um, sun is up I mean this is like I said November 5th um, the weather is just we're supposed to be near 80 today 80 was supposed to be in the 50s last night another glimpse of the river I'm getting a battery lower warning so I might have to go back to camp in a minute and get a new battery but anyway now let's go down this and I am I did that video I don't know if anybody watched it on the zero um, Z trail EV sandals I am wearing those around camp I have them paired with a pair of hiking socks for this just so I don't slide too much again was having some pretty I was having some 
foot pain yesterday but so I am wearing those around camp today I'm gonna probably do a video on just that to give updates you know of how they held up you know what I think of them so far they're doing pretty good but more view of the river you might see our tents down there they're going down to the beach so I'm gonna do that in a little while just figure I'll get some video footage done and then there um, that is looking upriver. You can see the calm, and obviously to the right, the right side of the river, that is where I have the footage of the river camp. But yeah, here, back to that little site there. I'm gonna take you down river a little further. There's a little dune to climb up over there. But I think for now, I'm gonna kinda make my way back to camp. Here we are. There's, we're getting into our camp area. Um, hello. Anyway, so here's our little camp. We are nestled pretty much just up from the river. Um, I really like it. I saw it before when we came down to visit the river last November and then again in June when I was visiting the river down here but that is my tent here um, yep. got some clothes rinsed out and drying the rat sacks um, we got my watch is doing some charge in there and then this is our little like this is our kitchen area got my chair I don't know why I hauled that down only weighs about a pound but yeah probably could have skipped that yesterday and then we'll just do a little bit of uh, there's their tent um, I got a little bit ambitious this morning and grabbed a kind of driftwood some driftwood made a little bench for Meg because she doesn't have a chair Leslie has a chair, but she took her chair down to the beach already. So yeah, this is our little... This is our little... site. That's the view from our site. Looking out to where those other sites are. I mean, it is just... I don't know, man. Sun shining. This is November. They got snow on the rim. It has snow on like probably a couple miles down the trail, middle of October, like four or six inches of snow. I was really scared. So this is really, I'm liking this. Then you go back here. You can get to the river from here, but it's a little bit rocky and it's right in the rapids, but might be another spot there, a little bit more roughed up. But anyway, this is, kind of the tour of the Granite Rapid Camp area. I am going to, I don't know, get more in a few later. All right, Directionally Challenged Hiker back again. I am leaving the little campsite and I'm gonna go check out that little dune area. So, gotta climb back up the dune. So bear with my, you know, probably huffing and puffing a little bit. You can't just totally sit today and be lazy, so I need to do some exploring. But anyway, we're gonna go. We're heading down river. Might get a glimpse of the beach from here too. We'll do that in just a second. the view up there we were up there a little bit ago kind of bumbling around here I have not gone up this section before so we'll see 
we can look down on the rapid. And I will go down there and get footage of that later today. Probably goof around some because I can't resist. So anyway, let's go up. Let's climb up this and see. And see. All right, do I go right or left? Let's go right for now. See if we find any more little possible campsites. This drops back down here. A bit of view. Just kind of see where we're at here. Um, okay, so I'm not I'm not gonna go down there. I'm gonna head up this way. Let's see what what it looks like up here. Definitely goes up. We'll see how far we go. Again, I just have my sandals on for this. Um, wow. That is, that is a bit of a workout to climb the sand dune. All right. Oh, it's tripped on a rock, wow. It's a little, there's rocks kind of hiding in the sand. All right, wow. So. There we go. Looking down on that awesome beach area. It is just, wow. So there's a little pan in this area. Oops. Turn a little faster. I'm trying to turn in the sand. And not fall over. I guess back to the river and then I'm gonna go. There's that beach. It is calling. Let's see what it's like up here. Yeah, this is the first time I've really done much exploring at Granite Rapid. So. That is down there. It's a little bit rocky. I'm not going down rocky. I might go up a little further, but I'm gonna turn this off for a minute and take a couple pictures. All right, we're gonna go back down just a little here, and then we're gonna go up to the left since that was kind of sort of a dead end there. But it was a pretty cool view. Picking up where I left off with that other battery. This is the view from this point. Again, just exploring the area around Granite Rapids. You can see down there. It'd be really cool. Some rafts came by. There were some that went by this morning. Um, there was a group, and then there were like three rangers. And I turned a little fast, sorry about that. Just trying to get some view here. Um, I am gonna go up a little further. Why not? I have all day. Yeah, it does go up again. I should apologize for probably that heavy breathing that happens when I try to climb. This is rockier now. Um, Looks like it might be pretty cool up here, but we'll see. But yeah. All right. Yeah. That sun is, sun is amazing, okay? I will tell you that much.
it keeps climbing. Looking down on the beach. Spectacular. I don't know. I'm gonna venture just a little further. But um, I'm not really in the mood to scramble. So this is probably it looks like yeah. Could be Granite Rapids, man. Bottom of the Grand Canyon. Oh, just pretty amazing place. So, um, yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm stopping here. So, later. Directionally challenged hiker back again because well I may as well get some footage on the way down and see if it's any better of what I got on the way up or a little different. So yeah, we're heading back down. Um said earlier this is this is day two of six. Um we have this will be our second night at the awesome granite rapids. Um and then tomorrow we go about 1. 1. 1.6 miles back to Monument Camp. Yeah, really, really easy day. We're hoping to get into camp. I don't know, we're not going to pull out of here really, really early, but we're hoping to get into camp tomorrow and then uh, meander up Monument Creek area a short ways, you know, just to kind of see what that has to offer. Um, I have not done that yet. Maybe actually, I want to go to the base of the monument. I mean, I know I can't climb it because you need gear and stuff, but I've never actually taken the time to like go to, you know, the base of it. I mean, I have pictures of it, but so yeah, that'll be tomorrow. And then nice, easy day. We needed, we needed some like easy after, after yesterday. 10.3 miles is, it's pushing it for me. Um, especially with, I carry too much junk. I probably had, I think I pack about five pounds of camera stuff at this point. And then, yeah, the chair. I brought the chair and I'm stuck in a bush. All right. Yeah, there's like the bush that got me on the way up here is getting me on the way down. And it is kind of rocky here. But anyway, so yeah, the the camera gear, that chair, and then I did end up bringing my watch that needs to be charged. So I brought the charger. Some definitely frivolous stuff I may, I may need to learn how to do without. I think the camera gear is, the camera gear is not going anywhere. So might have to live without some of the other stuff because, you know, the camera, the video, all that that is why i hike so i mean well i enjoy seeing all this stuff but yeah if it weren't for the camera it wouldn't be as enjoyable for me so i've been hiking it's actually my i started out with a what i have i don't even know right now a little sony uh, and then my son gave me his Nikon, Nikon 5100, and I had that for a few years, several years, and let's see, is it 2000, 2019, it went for a swim in Hermit Creek, and that was the end of it, it just fried it, so I purchased, I have the Nikon 
D5600 that I upgraded to and I actually had to have it cleaned after my April hike because I got so much sand in it. Something got stuck and it was like, it would take pictures, but you had no idea where you were, you know, like what settings you were on. So I paid probably almost half the price of the camera to get that sucker fixed, but I'm using it. I will say the, the Grand Canyon, it's, it's hard on it's hard on cameras, it's, it's hard on gear, but it's hard on me too, but I still think it's worth it. So we're getting back down to, you know, the main, kind of the main area here. Just kind of a little detour, some, it's amazing how things look different from different perspectives and, you know, I'm enjoying myself. That is why I came. That is why I endured those 10.3 miles yesterday. Yeah, we were all, we were done last night. I actually, I sat in the river, even though it was like dark 5.30 at night and rinsed off a little bit and it felt good. I'm getting back in the river this afternoon. But anyway, we're about back to the main area here. So I'm going to call it until later this afternoon. Directionally challenged hiker.